Hi, I'm getting ready to do a lithophane um, out of Corian for a friend of mine for his seven-month-old daughter. And I thought I would do a video on how I do my lithophanes. So the first thing I do is draw my frame. I know that I want my photo to go inside here, but I need a border around it, an outline frame. So the first thing I do is determine what size I want my interior, my photo to be, and I draw this line for it, and then I drew, draw my outside border line here. So then I would select these two lines, go to my modeling tab, come here, and this material is 0.25 thick, so I want to shave just a little bit of it off to make sure that I get rid of any imperfections in the material. So I set it to 0.24, so that, shave, that will allow me to shave 10 thousandths off of the material. So I click Apply, and I will view this side by side with the, with the other frame so that you can see more of what's going on here and get it set. Um, now the next thing that I need to do, and you can see by the way that I now have a 0.24 inch thick frame drawn here. And I'll leave it in that angle for, for right now. So the next thing I need to do is to import my photo and what I've done is I've taken this photo and I've made a negative image of it and I found that that's the best way for me to work with it so I make a negative I open it and I need to position this to where it's centered here to where it's inside this so in order to do that I can just go here and go zero and zero and apply and it's now centered but it's also not the correct size well I know that this rectangle that I drew the height of it is 10 inches so I'll go here and in this place here I have it linked so that the height and the width change proportionally so I'll put a 10 in there and hit apply and now it's the correct size it fills it in and if you look over here you can see that it's filling it in so I'll close this now I need to edit this just a little because first of all I want it to merge with the frame that I drew and also I want it to be point and if you watch along this edge you might be able to see it I'm gonna make it point two inches thick Now the point two is how deep I want these cuts to go. And I also want to make sure that I have 30 thousandths of material left underneath. So I want a base height of 30 thousand. So that will make this complete thing 0.23. And if you notice over here, it's a lot closer to this edge now. It's 10 thousandths away from this edge. So I'm happy with that and I'll close it. Now what I want to do is group the two of these and do what I call baking them and that makes them into one component. I do that. Now I'm ready to set a toolpath on this so I will use this as my outside for my toolpath. The toolpath is just where the bit cuts it. So I'll go over to my cutting side and I'm not going to do a roughing pass. If I wanted to do a roughing pass I could rough this all out but I found that on this, these thin cuts with the tooling that I use I don't need to do that. So I'm going to use a 1 8 inch ball nose 
and okay and I'm gonna raster it that means go back and forth like this I could do offset which would just go around and continuously go out but I don't like that I like the raster so we'll go back and forth back and forth back and forth until it finishes the cut I want to do an overcut of 0.1 inch uh, that will allow my tool to get just over the edge of where it needs to go so now I just go calculate and now if I previewed that well now I'm going to save the preview I'll go ahead and close this and I'll turn that toolpath off right now you can see that it's it's going to cut it but uh, now I want to do an offset cut which will actually cut the lithophane from the material base that I'm starting with. So I want to do an outside cut. I want to use a quarter inch end mill, or I'm sorry, an eighth inch end mill. I want to do three passes to cut this completely out. And I also want to leave tabs which will hold it into the main material. It will not let it break out and run over into my router bit as it's cutting. So, I'll edit these tabs, and those look good. So, I'll close that. I will calculate this toolpath now. And you can see, if we zoomed in, you can see that, that it's doing this. Here you see what looks like a little hump. And that's actually a tab. That's a little bit of material that holds it in place until it's ready to cut. So now I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to make this one full screen and zoom in a little more so that we can actually see a little more what it's going to do. And I'll select both tool paths. Now I will preview what's going to happen and the tooling is going to start and it's going to cut back and forth back and forth all the way to the top then another tool would go around and cut this out it'll make three passes around and the last path will leave the bridges or tabs holding it into the material so here here we go And now you can see that it, this is what the finished product would look very similar to this. The only thing is, this is showing up as it would be an MDF or, or a light colored wood. Uh, I'll be using white plastic, uh, opaque plastic, which you can see through when you hold it up to the light. And there it is, and if I rolled it around that way, you can actually see the little tabs that are holding it into the material. Uh, if I pull it down, you can see better here. Uh, pull it back up, you can see this. If I rotate this around, sort of hard to see, but, but the thinner the material is the more light shows through so her face is lower into it and therefore more light shines in uh, the dark parts of the material are sticking out 
and therefore they block more light. Th the material's thicker there. And that's how I would do a lithophane for Abby May. Thank you.